The Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte is used to this ritual. It's his fourth consecutive victory speech. In January, Mark Rutte handed in his resignation after admitting he was responsible for a scandal in which thousands of families were wrongly accused of child benefit fraud. Despite the public outcry at the time, it has not dented his popularity. I just uh, note that the result of this election is that uh, the voters in the Netherlands uh, have given the, the, my party, the, the Dutch Liberal Party, an overwhelming uh, yeah, vote of confidence. And it is humbling. Uh, it is also uh, forcing us to uh, do everything we can to make a success out of it. Not everything has gone well in the last 10 years. Despite a rocky ride, Rutte is clearly well liked. Polls show a large majority support how he has dealt with the coronavirus. So Mark Rutte's victory was not a surprise. Unexpected, though, was the big win of his social liberal coalition partner, D66, led by the incumbent minister of foreign trade, Sigrid Kaag. I have always believed, and this evening it's been confirmed, that the Dutch are not extremists, but are moderate. Extreme right leader Geert Wilders' popularity took a hit, but he will continue as an opposition politician. But that doesn't mean xenophobic views are losing momentum. Two other populist and anti-immigration parties won another 12 seats. During the counting of the votes on Wednesday night, the hopes of the left's parties were shattered. The Labour Party, the Socialists and the Greens did not manage to convince the Dutch they had the ideas to see the country through coronavirus recovery. There was also a surprise win for the newcomer Volt. The outspoken pro-European party won three seats out of nothing, making it the first time in Europe that this party succeeds in entering a national parliament. Rutte now hopes to secure a quick deal for a coalition. Last time it took almost seven months, and that difficult task has already started. The pro-European party, D66, will be part of it, but Rutte has made promises to the conservative CDA, so it'll be a tough negotiation to try and please them all. But he's quite well practiced by now. Mark Rutte may be the big winner today, yet as soon as the Covid crisis is behind him, the Dutch Prime Minister knows he's facing a giant task. The main issue also on the table for the next uh, years uh, is how to rebuild the country uh, going forward after uh, Corona. For the Dutch, he is seen as a steady hand, but he now has to guide the country in a turbulent world with a pandemic which has yet to run its full course.